How was up, y'all? It's Poppins Cracking It's Steve. About to react to this vid. It's titled Stevie J and Ray J Defend Freak Off Parties. Oh my gosh. Jane Doe reveals her name after Judge forced her. Um, Ray J is getting very suspicious. I think something's up. He might be on drugs or something because he has been a little too visible and doing weird stuff and saying weird stuff. So I don't know. He might be in his uh his Orlando era. What's that man's name? Orlando. It's not Bloom. Why do I always want to say Orlando Bloom? It's Orlando something. Anyway, uh, let, let's see what they got to say about these freak-offs. Let's watch. Your girl Orlando. has been under the weather. I just got my voice back. Barely. However, I have some ditty news I want to share with you, so bear with me. There's been a documentary release. Brown. Was the woman that was around him when I saw, mm -hmm. they wanted to be there. Are these freak-offs really real? Because now I'm starting to think this shit fake. Now I'm starting to think all this shit fabricated. I'm, th I'm looking like... Are those oh, midgets? But no, they weren't. They were little people dressed up like little Harajuku Barbies, red lipstick, looking like real sexy, you know, revealing like cute. Meek Mill has turned his back on his number one dog. Real life yeah, shit, nigga. Yeah. No diddy gang, Meek Mill in real life. Yeah. Like, I disrespect me, you Talk that shit, Meek. One of the Jane Doe's has been forced to release her name and now it's out to the public. And just in case inquiring minds want to know, she's a black woman. Yet this John Doe, along with many others, get to remain anonymous. But your boy Diddy is still in jail fighting for his life, at least until next Friday, which happens to be his bail hearing. We're going to get into this story and so much more. But before we do, please be sure to subscribe. This trial about to be crazy. It better be televised too. I want to see. Out on any news I want to see this story and so much more. Now let's get back into it. So although the lawsuits aren't coming in as regularly as they were before, the drama has not stopped for Mr. Sean P. Diddy Combs. Diddy's long-awaited bail hearing is set for next Friday at 2 p.m. The government has until tomorrow to file its opposition in response to Diddy's bail request. And if Diddy is denied bail at this bail hearing, he still has another chance in appellate court. Now, this new TMZ documentary, The Downfall of Diddy, Inside the Free Golf, has appeared on Tubi, and it had your boy Stevie J and Ray J trying their best to take up for this man. If you do your due diligence on me, I don't really go to parties. I've only been to maybe one of Puffy parties, and that was like 98, with my then-pregnant baby moms and her pregnant So y'all do the freak shit You know, I don't the attend the parties. I just do my thing and go home. I, I, I do my work in the studio, got I do it. my work on television, and I go home and I have my fun. Never got the invite. So, is this shit really real? Are these freak offs really real? Because now I'm starting to think this They have been confirmed by countless people, and even celebrities have come out and, and admitted that, oh yeah, Diddy's party is crazy. Oh yeah, you know, that's. So, fake where? Like, you just sound super suspicious even saying this. Something that everybody already knows is true. Shit fake. Now I'm starting to think all this shit fabric. Diddy said out his own mouth that he could go to jail <laughs> for what happens at his parties. I reacted to this in compilations. He said that out his own mouth. So, what are you talking about? Hey. Here we go. Oh, oh. Look at he was there. <laughs> Not their seats. For years, long before any lawsuits came about, and her story has never changed. Tania stated that while at the party, she was chosen by Diddy's son Christian to go inside of the home. Once inside of the home, she saw a lot of group sex, and she also saw children, which she stated were dressed up like Harajuku Barbies. Dressed up like little Harajuku Barbies, red lipstick, looking like real sexy, you know, revealing like cute. So I'm like, what the hell? What were the little people doing? Getting covered up, trying to cover up what they were doing. Just, I don't know, like being admired, being hid, something. But it's like, what are you? Do what are they doing here? Because this is a grown party. Are you talking about adults who are little people, or are you talking about minors? Am I gonna get in trouble? <laughs> I don't want to say I witness any of that crazy stuff, but we all have common sense. Little people. It's not supposed to be there. And with allegations like that, many have found it damn near unbelievable that Diddy has gone so long without being touched. But because of his money, his power, his connection to law enforcement, and the allegations of witness tampering, 
The government is not wanting him out. Don Richard's attorney, Lisa Bloom, does not feel like Diddy will ever see the light of day again. In Dawn's lawsuit, she stated that Diddy not only sexually assaulted her, but also locked her in a car for hours. She also stated that she and her bandmate, Kalina Harper from Dirty Money, saw Diddy assault Cassie Ventura. The only problem with that, Kalina stated she never saw anything and life was great with Diddy. The government called Cap because they had Diddy's phone tapped and realized that Diddy had contacted Kalina over a hundred times the day after Don filed her lawsuit. I think he's in prison for the rest of his life. The rest of his life. Mm -hmm. And I think he should be. Wow. Because I know what the victim's stories are mm -hmm. and how many women he has harmed and men, but mostly women. And, uh, you know, the fact that he was denied bail is huge. Most people get bail. And why was he denied bail? because the prosecution argued and the judge agreed that he was tampering with witnesses. Mm -hmm. And that was in my case. So what happened in my case was we filed Don Richard's complaint. A couple of days later, only one person spoke out publicly against Don and basically said she was a liar. That person, it turns out, the government, because they had tapped Diddy's phone, Diddy had had over 100 contacts with her between the day we filed the complaint and the day she spoke out against my client, after that there were zero. So it certainly looks like, and the government argued, he was trying to get her to come out publicly and make a statement to slam my client, Don Richard. It looks like he's tampering with witnesses. And he personally was doing it. It's not like he, he had somebody who worked for him do it. personally was doing it. And they also had a recording of him saying, you know, I know the government's tapping my phone. I can't really talk to you. So he basically don't deny post bill because he called me oh, yeah. 56 times. So I feel really bad because I feel like... He didn't call you. But my nigga called me, I will get in fucking court and stand up for my nigga if yeah. I need to because it would be no different if it was you and me. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think we're close enough mm -hmm. right now. Like, you're really my friend. Mm -hmm. So nigga, like, I'll be calling Chris and be like, yo, the fuck, hour, <laughs> the fuck going on? It's been... Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're going to go back and forth. Like, yeah, read that shit and call me back, nigga. And you're going to read it and you're going to call back and you're going to be like, we're going to do that. And it's like, what you think? Because now we're doing recall. And so that's not tampering. That's fucking recall because that bitch is lying. That's how it's done. Mm. And you don't got to say this. You know, okay, we got to be clear because we want to be clear about everybody. We want to make sure we're good. And I'm going to fucking stand on business. I didn't see that. Now that witness tampering has the government afraid to let Diddy out and not only that, many of the civil attorneys that are representing a lot of Diddy's SA clients do not want their clients to be named. They want to go under the pseudonym John Doe. And just because she and didn't see it don't mean it didn't happen. One of Tony Busby's clients, a Jane Doe, who met Diddy in 2004 during a Making the Band photo shoot, stated that she and a friend was invited back to Diddy's hotel for an after party. They saw people there partying. However, one of the security guards pushed them to the side, pushed them aside of a room. They got inside and Diddy essayed both of them. Now, Tony Busby begged and pleaded with the judge to allow his client to still go under the pseudonym Jane Doe. He even stated that he's representing both John and Jane Doe's that are going against Diddy in civil court and they have not had to reveal their names. However, this judge was not trying to hear it. Unfortunately, this woman has had to reveal her name. I looked her up. She's a black female. She's a mother. I just hate that she has to go through this. This has to be embarrassing. And she wanted to go under a pseudonym and everyone else is able to. I feel like she should have been able to as well. Next Friday will be a huge day for Diddy. He gets to find out if he gets bonded out of jail. What I need to do is hear from you. What do you think about Hmm, very interesting because we just watched Meek being very loud and distancing himself from Diddy. And now we have these people who are very loud about their support for Diddy and trying to imply that he's innocent in some type of way. The problem with this, though, is just because you didn't witness anything does not mean it didn't take place. And they kind of have this stance like, oh, well, I, I think it's fake. Look at what Ray J said. I'm starting to think it's fabricated. Sir, you're you're at one of the parties <laughs> in the footage. And uh, then we have the girl like, oh, yeah, he was calling because it's like, oh, this bitch is lying. So, you know, trying to imply that, oh, nothing, nothing wrong was taking place. Blah, blah, blah. And, you know, that wasn't him trying to do anything like they trying to turn into something that's not. So, yeah, it does seem like these people are loud in their support for him. So it's like, mm. I honestly think the best thing to do is to shut up. 
You know, people who are loud about being against him, you look suspicious because <laughs> it's like uh, you were just buddied up with him and, you know, y'all were BFFs and now you're trying to turn against him. And then the people who are loud in support of him, y'all also look suspicious because it looks like you are trying to cover up what took place and you probably were a part of it, especially if you've been knowing him for years and years. Stevie J has been around uh, Diddy for decades. There's no way he doesn't know what's going on. So you just look even more suspicious. You bring attention to yourself. So I think it's best for everybody to just shut up, honestly. And people have said that, like, oh, some celebrities, they ain't saying everybody's quiet. I think that's the best course of action, to be honest. I think that's the smartest thing to do. Uh, but sure, well, we'll see how everything plays out. I can't wait to see the trial. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you're going to watch, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.